hello guys it's been a long day since i've made a video so today we are talking about fast api so today i will tell you guys how i just completed studying about fast api or learning about it and finishing it or merely knowing the basics in about two days and we will discuss how I went about it so this is the project that I did it wasn't any fancy but it just made everything that is supposed to be known right the basics the way you would make a endpoint be it a get request or a post you can just add the decorator over it of the function and um, the bracket you can see the id which is as query parameter and uh, this app equals to fast API is very similar to how we are supposed to do um, in express if you are fam familiar to that and uh, so we have schemas here too this is generally used uh, let me show you guys so these schemas are used to show what is supposed to be entered into the request the request body you may say and uh, yeah and if i have to give my thoughts about it about fast api uh, and the um, quality time that i had then i have to tell you guys that it is very well above anything that have used from python framework for the backend system or the backend api um, so i already liked flask above Django because Django has a lot of uh, things that has already been bootstrapped and it feels just not awesome you know that isn't the best um, the quality time that you would have have from a framework or um, the structure that you'd like you are strip down to a single way how things are supposed to be done and flask makes it makes it even easier and makes it more readable more understandable um, and then comes the fast api which i like the most among the three which is very similar to how we would structure our project in express or even better at some things like uh, we do not really had schemas for the request well we could um, make a structure for that but uh, the fast api has already kept this thing in mind and provided us with base model so yeah if you are thinking about um, learning some backend framework from python then fast api is the way to go thank you for watching and i will keep you update in uh, probably something newer something like go and I, I have already promised you guys but um i will do that video someday later so see you soon